Yo, what is going on everybody? Carnage back here again. And as you can tell by the title of the video, uh, and probably the thumbnail, uh, I just got the best fucking gift of my life. And I normally don't try to swear that much on my channel, but it's rightfully earned with this. So, a little backstory. Uh, since February of 2023, this year, uh, I've been, you know, selling my uncle's comic books and, like, all the comic books that he's had since he's been, like, you know, like, 12, 13, 14, like, around that time. And, like, he has not touched them in years. So he did not remember what he had other than, like, you know, Spider-Man, Captain America, uh, Hulk. He was a big Hulk fan and Daredevil fan. But this book right here that he gave me, like, and he just gave it to me, like, literally the other day. And I just cannot believe that I own this now. Uh, and for those of you who are curious, this is Hulk 181, the first full appearance of Wolverine. And I'm not going to lie, this book is pretty beat up, and it does kind of look like someone tried, you know, putting a nipple on him. But I really do not care. Like, this is the holiest of Marvel Grails, man. Like, legitimately. Like, and it just, you know, because I've been trying to sell all, his, all of his comics. All I have left is just, like, a pile maybe, like, this big of, like, all the key books that he had. And I haven't said anything on my channel about this because, well... I, I truthfully would rather just, you know, make sure it gets to the person right away rather than, you know, have it go in the mail, then it, you know, just get lost in the mail. That's kind of why I haven't been selling any of this online. But I mean, this is the best gift I've ever been given in my life. And this definitely just blows my comic collection just out of the water. And the mere fact that I got this book for basically free, like, I've been you know, selling the book, so it's been a lot of work, like, going through all of that, but I mean, dude, like, <clears throat> I'm, like, I just don't know what to say about that, like, I, fully honest, like, I don't really talk with my uncle that much, mostly because, uh, I didn't grow up near him, like, he lives, like, maybe, like, an hour away from me hour and a half at most but I mean the mere fact that he had this in a trunk since he was like 15 16 years old and never really looked through it I know he said like uh, he was trying to figure out what he had at some point from a comic shop and the guy was just going to give him like at least 200 bucks for the whole chest that he had it in because he did not have this in like a box he had this in like a big long chest that was probably like five feet long I want to say maybe four four to five feet long that he had at the trunk of his bed when he was growing up and he just took it with him and it was just sitting in a closet for years and like he had like he had a few smaller stuff than this like he had the first Electra first Hobgoblin first Spot first Madam Web first Beta Ray Bill I know like he had a lot of Thor books had a lot of uh, Spider-Man, most of it was pretty much Spider-Man, uh, and Hulk, like, big, big Hulk fan, and Daredevil fan, and I know I'm, like, rambling on this video, I just still can't believe I got this book for nothing, like, just other than, like, you know, just selling books for my uncle, and, like, I owe him way too much for that, like, this is something that I am going to keep with me Till the day I die. And. Because I've actually been trying to figure out how to change. Not change. Uh, sell this book. Because I just don't physically know. How to sell something this big. But I mean. Like he was telling me when he called me the other day. Saying. Like th this is how it went. How he told me I could have it. And he. Because I just sold like the Daredevil. Uh, key. I think it was 160. Whatever the one with Electra's first appearances, I think it's like 168, 169, one of those two. Because I know I sold the first and second appearance 
plus the death of Electra to a comic shop. Like, and I know the guy, he said he would like give me, you know, at least like half price of what he was going to sell it for, which I thought was decent. And they were kind of very beat up. So I got like $30 per book, which I thought was, you know, all right, because, you know, they were pretty beat up because literally they were just in a chest kind of warped and ripped and stuff like that. So they were definitely not like very high grade at all. But I mean, like even in a low grade, this book is like a thousand bucks. And this is something I knew I would not be able to afford on my own. <laughs> so I mean, the mere fact that he just handed it to me. Like, and going back to what I was saying, like he called me on the phone because I just sold like the Daredevil books. And he's like, you know that really big book in my collection? I don't really want it anymore, so you can just, like, shred it. And I was like, oh, that's not a very good idea, because that's a lot of money for that book. And he's like, oh, well, in that case, you can just have it. And I was just like, so what, what? And then he, you know, said it again. Yeah, you can have the book. And I was like, oh, no, I, I can't do that. That's that's too much. That could be a lot of money for you. And, I was, and he was like, no, 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 it's okay, it's okay. You've been doing a lot of work with the other stuff. You've given me more money than what I probably would have gotten trying to sell it on my own. And I was just like, are, are you sure? And he's like, well, yeah, yeah. And then, you know, he said a couple more personal things that I'm not going to say here. Uh, that's just between me and him. But I mean, dude, like, Hulk 181. This is... And I still remember when I first saw this book, my jaw just basically dropped. I was like, and then I just kept, like, because I was going through his entire chest at his house, just kind of, like, sorting it out so I could, so it could be easier on me when I got back. Because I was sorting it by, you know, uh, like, what the character was and putting all, like, the big keys off to the side. Like, the other biggest book in this collection was Hobgoblin. Hobgoblin's first appearance. And that's a book that I've been really wanting because I really have enjoyed the Hobgoblin since the 1990s Spider-Man series. But, yeah, basically, anyway, this is just uh, kind of a thank you to my Uncle Scott, who, like, I really wish I did grow up around him more because he's a, he's a great guy. And... I wish I would have gotten to know him a little better growing up rather than, you know, getting in contact with him because he told me that he had comic books that he had that he'd like me to look through. Like, he told me about this, like, December of, like, 2021, I want to say. And, uh, like, I truthfully just kind of forgot about it until, like, uh, February of this year, which I feel kind of bad about because... Like, I mean, I could have, you know, already basically sold everything by now, but I mean, you know, it is what it is, but I mean, uh, yeah, uh, before I ramble on any further and, you know, just kind of, you know, just get lost looking at this phenomenal book, like, again, thank you to my Uncle Scott, love him to death, and, like, I hope, he, I, like, next time I see him, I'm giving him the biggest hug I physically can, because this is just truthfully something that I never thought would ever happen in my life, <laughs> you know, and I'm just going to give you guys, like, one more look at the book, just such an iconic cover, man, such an iconic cover, so gorgeous, but yeah, anyway, that's all I have for you guys today, so I just want to say thank you all for watching. And if you did like this video, uh, you don't have to like or subscribe, but if you did enjoy it, I would really appreciate you leaving a comment down below, uh, just basically telling me something that you have gotten from a family member or friend or just someone that you just really are grateful for. Like for me, this is what I am grateful for. And again, I'm just going to stop now before I ramble on anymore. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I love you all, and I'll catch you later. Peace.